So, list is a generally, the idea behind this list is that God of Destiny gains you a little bit of life, and that's necessary to hold off the game long enough that you win the game through either the damage of God of Destiny or damage to Chandra or Koth. If you attack quickly the Rival Master, God of Destiny is a quick clock afterwards. You really like Punisher over Pure Prison? Sometimes, depends on the meta. What are your thoughts about the new Blood Moon full art? When I can get it in pay, uh, Magic Online, I will. <clears throat> Need to space it. I really like it, and it is on here, so there's a way to get it somehow. Uh, but it is, it is not. Where is my power rankings? Where did I put the power rankings? Was that an off topic or? I think I actually put them in spoilers. Yeah. This is my my power rankings of Blood Moon art. It's a little blurry because it's a Discord image now, but basically uh, the dark black bordered one, two, the top loader, or the top, top loader, top deck, um, topper, Blood Moon here. Three is the dark uh, insignia on M25, because you have to pick this art now. Four is Chronicles Blood Moon. Five is then five, six, seven, basically seven white border. Five is this because it's original frame art. Six is the newer art. And then eight is this one because you can't read an invocation. Let's play magic. Green. Got a three one tonight. Let's go ahead and see if we can get another one. Box topper. Showcase. Top loader. You got one of every Blood Moon, and I always put white borders next to my invocations. You're a silly person. All right, let's keep this. This is a sweet little beginning to our adventure here. Shall we? Let's see if we run into prowess here. I'm going to fetch green on the off chance that my opponent does not kill Chandra here. And as long as they don't kill Chandra... I think we'll be good. What a wicked starting turn. Shall we begin this one? This league? Let's go! Oh look! Red again! Oh my gosh. So many red decks. This is a prowess matchup again, then we're going to find out how God of Destiny fares. We'll play Blood Moon just in case they're not just basic mountains. Also keeps the hand clear in case they have something that would be nasty. Let's keep going up here. Why not? Rabble Master, Quick Clock, Pyro Prison. Woo! Damage. In for one. Third land for my opponent. Are we done playing Magic? We're not done playing Magic, ladies and gentlemen. You're not done. Um, let's go up for damage. Oof, Rabble Master. We're just going to try to end the game through damage here. I'm not going to even try to emblem. You like the out Blood Moon versus Mono Red setup? Light up the stage is my opponent's first casted spell. We have a Lava Dart. That gets countered. Chalice. Chandra on eight. Emblem, this, Blood Moon, boom, smack them, five damage. Let's go to game number two. Wee, wee. All right, Chalice and Chandra, turn one was a little bit brutal. A little bit brutal. So this list does not run Dragon's Claw. Instead, it attempts to be more aggressive with Eidolons and Angers. So that's what we're going to bring in. In this matchup, Season Pyromancers are going to come out and Blood Moons are going to come out. Let's run it back. We can run Bridge, although I don't always recommend it. But we can because we have God of Destiny. You could argue, okay, then play Season Pyromancer in place of Bridge. You could also do that here. But I'm going to try playing a Bridge because God of Destiny could eat the graveyard and save us a much time. That is our 
effect there. Okay, this is cool. We'll do this. We're gonna get rid of a Simeon Spirit Guide here. We can Chalice on one pretty quickly. We can Anger behind that. We have the bridge. Uh, would I like to take the four damage? Yeah, sure. Now I don't have to waste an Anger. Now I don't have to waste an Anger. Go ahead and get our green mana again here. Chalice on one, pass turn. Whee! Whee! Also, this gives you green mana sometimes. Shrine of the Burning Rage. Nasty. That could kill us. That could kill us. All right, we're going to cast Monkey here past turn. This is going to be our clock. We'll see if we can beat a Shrine. Right now, I have a Braid and Braid only. Mountain for our opponent. No follow-up. Let's attack for two here. We'll play our bridge and pass turn. We're probably not going to fetch with this next Wooded Foothills. <clears throat> we need to be careful of this card. Fourth land for our opponent. No follow-up here. Go ahead and cast new Simeon Spirit Guides, swing for two, and then we will play this after combat. Go ahead, opponent. Shrine going up. Do I take Chalice out when I put it in Veil? Not always. It doesn't come up too, too often. We'll be honest. Smashing the Chalice on one. Uh-oh, this could be bad. One drops abound. Bolts. Lava darts. Uh-oh. Swift spear. Again, I'm not going to fetch here. My life total is too precious. Oh boy. Another bridge. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go combat here. Um, I'm going to anger there. The creature's kind of frightening. I know they have the shrine, and I have a feeling the shrine plus just an attack there kills me. Uh, shrine's good versus because I didn't bring spyglass in. And this is good. They got us. I love the slow roll here. I love the slow roll. I'll just play my land past turn. Uh, which plane's been in the sideboard before for some people? I very rarely run it. I'd actually rather just run Leyline of Sanctity and chance the idea of getting it into my hand. All right, Spyglass in, one bridge out. Uh, anything else? We're on the play. Let's go ahead and bring in a Season Pyromancer over one more bridge and run it back. On the play. Let's be aggressive. What I like to play first? Absolutely. Oh, the awkward double god of destiny can't play anything, but this could work. I'm going to keep this wild hand. Let's just throw a game away here. <clears throat> I'm doing this because I have the abrades. I need to hit a land anyway. I feel fairly safe killing this here. And we'll keep our life total nice and high. One fetch land here, and we start taking this game away from my opponent. All right, we missed it. I'm going to F6 through this turn. I need to hit a land and be able to play God of Destiny. So we won't try to ramp out an Abrade here. Abrade's looking good against the Shrine anyway. Monkey Man doing what he can. <laughs> He's trying. All right, we have a lot more red in the deck, not to mention that I can get this off God of Destiny as well. So, God of Destiny into play and go, opponent. 
So if I want to kill the uh, shrine here with the abrade, I can do that. I can ramp out the bridge. I can ramp out a god of destiny and replace it so I get another two damage. I can only do this one turn, though. So lava spikes here. This is the turn to probably abrade this. So we might have to make red mana here. Light up the stage. This will tell us a little bit more. Mountain Vexing Devil. I will take this damage because I have an Abrade here and then I have the God of Destiny to gain myself some 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 life. Two triggers? No, there's there's not two triggers. Idle on here. So what? There's not two triggers. All right, let's make red here. Let's go ahead and abrade. Mm, past turn. Did I say two triggers? I said put this down so that it'll trigger itself later. It's an extra two damage in the future because you replace it when the, the graveyard was fairly low. Lava dart up to light this stage, probably. Seal and rift bolt here. I was talking fast. I was talking fast. I speak it the fast. Slightly so unsung fantastic part of Koitha's main face trigger, so you get to draw beforehand. Yeah! It's unbelievable how powerful that is. All right, let's uh, just eat this. Apparently I got a chalice, so that's a little awkward. It's also a little bit awkward that we're on turn five and haven't hit much. Chalice in. I'm not going to eat that Lava Dart anytime soon here. So here's the question. Does God of Destiny earn us enough here? Opponent just casts a Rift Bolt, plays a land, seal fire two unknown cards. Take my random draw. Grab some mana there. I'll take our one damage here, and we'll play a Bridge Down Pester. We're not planning for God of Destiny to ever be active here. God of Destiny is strictly, strictly being used as a life gain and closing the game here. Instead of just having my opponent at 20 life, I've been doing some damage. Um, let's ramp, let's ramp here. Let's try to put a Chalice on two. Ta-da! That looks good. Now I can win the game. I've had him active a couple times when I didn't don't want him to. <laughs> Makes sense. I don't know, we'll eat this. Yum, delicious. Now I'll play Rabble Master. Now I have a clock. In for damage. <clears throat> Rabble Master is because they didn't use Steel of Fire there. But yeah, God of Destiny is keeping this game alive. Hardcore. Uh, let's take a shrine here. Let's attack. Still no use of the seal of fire here. It's fine by me. I think my opponent's just given up at this point. Force of negation. What? You don't like force of negation? There we go. I think we got it against Prowess. We've played Prowess three times tonight, winning two of them and losing only one. Oh, Crater Maker. Looking hot. In we go, match two. Let's find an opponent. Seeking trophies. We're doing pretty good in terms of our win record tonight. Not bad at all. Kind of hyper. It might be showing. And we know that Judge Rolling and Paper, when an opponent tries to force some negation in a Coithus, Coithus on the stack is an enchantment, so it can be forced. Mulligan. One landers aren't good. This is great. Keep. Uh, get rid of Simeon Spirit Guide. 
I don't know, Shippo. I'm just making stuff up. And I'll get called out in Reddit or YouTube later. I'm just making stuff up. This Fluffy is really, really rude. Let's make green here. Let's uh, let's go for it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Counter. Counter, chicken. Parrot. Porky Parrot. It's a pretty cool avatar as well. Opting. Nice. We're going to go ahead and do the Blood Moon here, even though they look like they're maybe... Storm, we're doing this because they don't have a basic island at the moment, and so this has the best chance of doing something until they do that. All right, so we have a blue moon type of opponent here. Chicken. Chicken parrot porcupine. Scalding tarn, fetching. Island, we've got something here. As for told, oh, that's gonna be awkward. Okay. Oh, crashing rhinos. All right, we need to live this game. This is a uh, interesting, interesting little affair of things happening. We're gonna go ahead and shoot one of these. Try to live as long as we can here looking for bridge. Just Ping Zale, resident judge. Point ahead, ancestral visions, they picked that off the top because they didn't use it last turn. Oh, they go just at me and ignore Chandra. Oh, Simeon Spirit Guide, we gotta find a bridge. We gotta find it ASAP. By the way, this is going to be a hard matchup. Chalice on zero, though, is pretty good. Bridge. Bolts on my upkeep because of as foretold. I'm about to take six here. I'm not going to fetch. Might give me one more turn. They're going to balance me? I'm not afraid of balance. I'm afraid of my life total going to zero. They visions me again. My opponent's just doing everything to me. Serum Visions. I'm exactly two bolts away from death. I can take one more turn, I suppose. Chalice and Zero, God of Destiny, Chandra, Bridge. Electro Dominance. I'm done, opponent. Stop drawing things. <laughs> Stop drawing things. My next card was a bridge. I'm still not too worried about that. Concede there. My opponent was going to have me at one. All right, so... Eidolon's in. And probably... Just get rid of Koth. Keep... Let's get rid of Blood Moon. I forget if Spyglass works. Let's find out together, shall we? A braid's not very good. It's true. Relic might be better. Relic might be better. Getting under them. Season Pyromancer feels okay. Bridge is okay. Chandra I don't think is good here. I think just Eidolon and Rabblemaster we're going to try to go faster than my opponent. You're part of the balance discord too. Veil might work. That's true. We have Veil. Submit this before I lose it. And then what? Just like, um, honestly, relics aren't very good here. I submitted 62 cards. Whatever. All right, 62 card special here. Got a chalice. No lander. No lander. There we go. Keep. Uh, we can get rid of a Pyretic here. Let's go get a basic. Basic forest, relic, chalice on zero, go. Perfect hand, pretty much. Pretty much.
Uh, in step, we uh, target them with a relic. Let's go. Turn two. So good. Turn one, turn two is the best that you can get God of Destiny out, pretty much. Looking pretty good. Simeon Spirit Guy puts an as foretold into play. Okay. I'll eat their opt and just play a land and pass turn. Ta da! As we're told, going up. A little bit awkward piece here is that God of Destiny really isn't going to do a whole lot for a few turns. For any turns here. Whee! No more playing red lands? I can stop. Not so worried about losing lands with God of Destiny. Not so concerned. Maybe I should be. Hold my lands? I gotta get to at least four. I'm still not concerned because of God of Destiny. I believe in fate that I will get this win. Look at all these lands. Just F6 then? Okay, F6. I'll hold the land. I'm holding. Hold! Also, how many lands in a row is that? I even have two extra cards that aren't lands. As we're told, number two. This is gonna get really bad here in a second. Simeon Spirit Guide, sure. Oh, I did it. I did it, everyone. I've got him. Why are there so many monkeys? Cause we jamming, we jamming the monkeys. We jamming. All right, as for Toads on four now, so Cryptic Command's free and online. This is probably not a good point to be at. Now I kind of want the Chandra Awake Infernos if I thought this game was gonna go this long. They don't have Cryptic? What are you talking about? Surely they have Cryptic. I've seen this list have Cryptic. We'll try to play a bridge here. They don't? That's insane. I'm positive they would have a Cryptic. There goes my monkey. Bye bye, chunky monkey. Getting that Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Are we coming in for two, Simeon Spirit Guide? That's fine. Big hug. Big hug. This is quite awful. Those are their outs, you think? A braid or echoing truth? I could see some of those. I don't know if I want to keep holding these lands. Everyone told me to hold the lands. I'm feeling like it's a bad idea. I'm going to put this land into play. Stop this monkey from attacking me. I know I'm at 22, but I feel safe. Maybe I shouldn't, but I feel safe. Keep one? All right, we'll keep this one. This one's a really special land. By the way, here's a good example if God of Destiny will take us all the way. We'll see. We will see. Any ritual spells are good to burn here. Ooh, that's kind of a cool card. Too bad my opponent doesn't cast anything. Oh wait, cast. It says may play, that's casting, right? I think it's casting. We'll figure out together, right? In for two. I almost just wanna like, Put this in the bin so it does damage. 
I like how I put a question or really just a random statement. And everyone's like, I got you, Fluffy. Yeah, that's what that is. I'm like, thanks, man. You guys are awesome. All right. The Out of Destiny. Um, I kind of like this one snuggled between the uh, bridges and the chalices. Feels very protected, so we'll keep that one. This game's going long. Maybe I do bring the Awakened Inferno back in. It's so hard to get to six mana if they're going to balance me, though. If they're going to balance. Bow, 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 bow. Ancestral Visions to the Exile Zone. It's kind of, kind of cool. Ooh! Ooh! Yes! I want to play this card. If they go to counter this, then I have the Veil. If they don't go to counter this, then I've got more cards in the graveyard. All right. Well, apparently I had a million bridges here and a bunch of other things coming. Chalice on Zero did what it needed to. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should use this Chandra Awakened Inferno. I don't think this works. I need to read as foretold. At the beginning of your upkeep, put up a time. On the insurance, you may pay. Converting costs. Once each turn. Spyglass the Gargadon. All right, I can get behind that. We, we ran 62 card special right there. 62 card special. Mm. I'm almost just tempted to do 64 card special. Take out Veil? What if they force a negation something? What if they force a negation something? All right, we'll do this. 61 card special. Not today, Mill. Take them down, Zale. I'm guessing you had Emrakul. Ha! Oh gosh, this is a terrible hand. Mulligan. Hmm. This isn't very good either. Okay, we'll keep this. Uh, this out, this out. Uh -huh. If you didn't know, we're just gonna go full on Rabble Master here, hope they don't have a bolt. It'll be a fast clock. Fast clock, we'll see if it works for us. Boom, Rabble Master, smack them. In for one, ha <laughs> ha, take you down. Don't Electro Dominance me, balance me, please. Thanks, thanks opponent. Game over. Game over. Apparently my opponent just kept a one-lander, though. <clears throat> In for one, pass turn. <clears throat> so you're telling me that this was a bad idea to keep these out? I respect that. I respect that. Ritual, Season Pyromancer, get rid of the bridge. In for a damage, pass turn. All right, we got cards here. We got them cards. They're gonna draw some cards soon. Two lands, two lands. All right, let's go ahead and spyglass here. Or attempt to. We need a hydrate? We need a hydrate? Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a lot of good cards here. Or Jace. Ooh, Jace would have been a cool one. In for four past term. All right. Well, they can ask for told me and then essential crashing, whatever they want to. We're two lands away from Chandra. We've ditched a bridge here. Not looking so hot. Very likely to hit this land drop here, drawing four this turn. And does so. They have double red. They have the blue they need. Whatever they want. Gets basic blue. All right. They can't cast this one now. As for told. <clears throat> crashing. We'll just pass turn. 
Not a whole lot to do here. I think from here my opponent can beat us. We'll see though, we'll see. Fiery Islet, these four cards that we know about, they do have double red now for this. I'm going to do this and see if they'll go ahead and fire off in a braid for me. Oh, they don't, all right. I'm using a Hydro Flask. See the little dude? They got another Rhino. This Abrade hits the very first, <clears throat> very first bridge that I get here. My opponent's got me here in game number three. Ah, if they make a mistake. I'm not really sure how that would, yeah, they'd have to play something else. Yeah, they have to play this first, then the Electro Dominant. So the way they just did it wouldn't work. It's a lot of damage that's about to hit our face. We do not have an out here, by the way. Our out is nothing at this point. Trampling, the Abrades in hand gets rid of the bridge. It's a good game, opponent. Even with that, I shoot one. I play Rival Master, I do anything. We we dead. One and one. That is a list we haven't seen in a while, so I was actually pretty happy to play against it. A little bit different. Which one? They have a million on their site. Uh, this is one of their limited edition ones. They run different limited edition ones from time to time. And so I just kind of picked it up to be fancy. I don't know what their limited edition one they're running right now is. Like, just really quick because you're asking. So if you go to like shop, I think, and it's featured or something, they sometimes have them under here. And so like new arrivals and different series. So it was under limited edition a while ago. If I got, if I were to go again here, I'd get maybe the blue, one of these or the Hawaiian. The bright color ones are kind of fun too right now. Uh, if you like hiking a bunch, the trail series is pretty good because they're lightweight and they're more stainless steel. New Arrivals is probably just the colors. What do they got here? Lunch boxes, thermoses, these new color ones, the parks. If you have like a particular park you like, like Hawaii, or if you like Redwoods or the Acadia ones, they have those right now too. But yeah, it was under limited edition. So, would I like to play first? Yeah. Would I like more than one land? Yeah. How upset was I that wasn't mentioned in that article? That article? Which article? The Star City Games one? Why would I be mentioned in the article? It's not like we've put up a result in a little while. We mulligan this one, by the way. We've been playing a lot more and giving variety to those that come and follow and subscribe. But uh, I can go back to my play one to two decks a whole bunch again and start getting results, probably. Because I'm special. <laughs> At least to you, I'm special. Well, that's nice. Thank you. I'm also on my days off playing Minecraft a lot more than I am playing Magic, so I'm not putting up as many results during that time either. We're going to go ahead and keep this. I'm going to get rid of both Chandras here. I'm gonna play Prismatic, pass turn, probably go get our green. Do you have another job? Yeah, I'm full-time. I have a full-time job. Get our green here. Set us up for the God of Destiny. The God of Destiny. God of Destiny will be able to set us up for the Season Pyromancer as well. We got a Jund opponent. This should be pretty good against Jund. You're sorry that you let me get addicted to Minecraft? 
yeah, I barely make videos anymore, and I'm, I'm all at mining those Minecraft things. This is good. This kind of keeps us in check, sort of. Not really. Well, that's kind of cool. Look at this. Look at how cool this is. There's nothing cool about this. Boom, die. Ha ha. Death to Tarmogoyf. Cool. That worked really nicely. So now I could just eat Tarmogoyf here. Got my land drop. We decide to Assassin's Trophy over here. That's kind of nice of them. Let's go ahead and eat the Tarmogoyf. I can do that because I can play another land here. We're gonna go get a basic so I don't have to shock in. And we'll just do this. I don't have any green in the deck, so no reason to leave that up. Season Pyromancer, draw two cards and pass the turn. Hey, good cards. All right. So this is another matchup where we've talked about Hazard. We bring in a bunch of Hazards to try to beat Jund or Green Black. This is a great matchup to have God of Destiny. Now there's a bit of white over there, so paths and other things are a bit dangerous with the God of Destiny. However, I feel fairly confident that we've got a good chance at winning this game. So, Veil vale would be nice too. Basically we're playing God of Destiny and Veil. Vale. And Veil vale is like just an add-on because I happen to be in green. The real reason I wanted to play this was just strictly to play um, God of Destiny. That was it. Stoneforge. <laughs> Let's grab a sorcery out of here. So we definitely have a potential win condition here, and it'll be nice to see if that is going to happen. Abs and junk in 2020? Strange it is. I guess I'll just leave Goblin Crater Maker here to take care of the the Batter Skull. If I kill Stoneforge, they get another land, they just play Batter Skull. So I'll keep the Crater Maker around. Rhino Blade when? Never. Never. We're, we're starting to shrink down the amount of decks that we're playing. Right now it's going to be Prisons. It's going to be the Red Black Croxus Elemental Kitty. It'll be a few other things. I don't need another land, and I actually want a creature over here. So we'll force this. Batter Skull will show up here, and one other card will be in my opponent's hand. Cool, cool, cool. Bridge is looking good so far. We'll hope they don't destroy that. That's a really good card. I should be a little more selective of what I'm taking out of the yard in case I play another Tarmogoyf, but two bridges here feels just kind of like icing on the cake here. Got five turns. This is not Ponza. Get out of here. Oh, you're saying about the list that I play? No, I will play Ponza. Ponza's included in that list. As is Black White Tokens, Rack, and all kinds of other... Um, I don't know what I'm playing. I don't know. My opponent discards here. This is kind of like a funny card, because it gets really awkward if they get rid of these bridges. We're going to go ahead and play it just because it will be a way to get around Batter Skull if they do end up killing God of Destiny here. But I'm feeling pretty good. Land drop. They played a Triome at some point. I wasn't really paying attention for when they did that. Let's keep stealing things that hurt them. And let's keep making lots and lots of creatures here. I'm going to speed up the clock here. Stoneforge. You can get another sword or something here? Sure. By all means, opponent. Sword of fire and ice. Play sword. <clears throat> Goes up with Lily.
Um. Block, block. Three in at Lily. I'm gonna down tick Lily. What are they gonna do with that? Just give me Bridges and God of Destiny or other? I'm gonna just play the land and see. I wanna see what their Lily split is here. I'm actually more curious about what the Lily split is than trying to figure it out and win the game. I wanna see what they think is important here. All right, here we go. I'm very curious here. Like, are they just gonna give me my two bridges here? Then I'll just keep everything else. I wonder if the Sword of Fire and Ice is a problem. I don't think it is. Choose a pile of sacrifice, just get rid of the bridges. Be like, sure, beat this. You do bridges and lands. All right, so they hook this up. They're gonna do six, I'm gonna take this. This is Vigilant as well. Like, this will be interesting. It'll be interesting how this all works here. And they can shoot a Rabble Master here and they'll draw a card. We'll see, we'll see if we've kind of goofed it up. I'm kind of curious. We'll see. Very intrigued. They go to eight. They'll be at six. Block Rabble Master here. Plays another Stone Forge. It's at three. I'll be curious. I'll be curious. I'm the God of Destiny. Don't need that. Take their Liliana. <laughs> what do we go get? Sort of Feast and Famine? I don't know. Maybe that Liliana, Liliana emblem here loses it for us. Because they can just block here and double block. Need Trample. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe it was. Hmm. Good to know. Worth it to throw some goblins at the Liliana and let them gain the life. Because then we win around it, even though they gain six or ten life there. Because now they're gaining the life even more. Because now they're up to eight. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Well, well, well. Well, we'll see if we can draw a bridge here. You can make an argument I punted that one away. It is a pretty big germ now. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be for a while. So if we kill Liliana there, then we probably win this game, right? Looks like it. We're playing to see if we draw a bridge at this point. They do two upstairs. Next turn, they got us. All right, well played. Well played. All right, Chandra Awakened I want. I want Spyglass here. I don't mind Veil. I don't particularly like Chalice from what I saw. I'm getting a slight badgering of just when I thought I had lock, and I was like, the lock was just attacking. I just was curious what you wanted to split. 
We did say that. Need to know what would be the good split. All right. Um, I think it's just Chalice out and bring these in. And I almost want to do 62 cards again. I know it's not right. Let's take a pair of Rabble Masters out. They're telling me I couldn't have killed Lily. They had no cards in hand. I attack with five goblins at the time. They had Batter Skull and Stoneforge. We do three. Lily goes up to four. We then we lose two in that process. Then we create two. And then we create two again. So we'll have four, five, six remaining. We attack in and Lily's at four and they have three creatures. I think we'd have enough. If not, we wait one more turn. That's that's not hard math. Uh, they're telling me to rewatch the tape and figure it out. Uh, rewatch the tape and learn, basically. It's like, but I have... Control over bridge and the dual tokens every turn. I don't know. Uh, my opponent's confusing me. My opponent's confusing me. Let's keep this completely bad hand here. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Watching the Fate series? The Evil Honk, what's up? Thanks for the follow. All right, and Thought sees me. Nice. Whiff, sort of. <clears throat> da, da, da. The anime, perhaps. That was a psychic response to Honk and Yes, they all. <laughs> all right. Basic and stomping ground here. My opponent knows I have a Chandra here. They know about their braid as well. I believe, right? Yeah, because I just drew this. Thought sees take Chandra. All right. I take the abrade. Hopefully I have a, a second land here. That would be silly to not have a second land. There it is. Nurturing Pete land. God of Destiny is a nice rip here. We'll play that out past turn. Well, that'll be good. So I can play a land here, and then I can see if I have something on two to be used. Bobble here. Bobble was the draw. Temple Garden. Shocks it in. What do we got? Liliana. Gaddick Teague. Well, that's an interesting one. Gaddick Teague stops Chandra. I haven't seen Gaddick Teague in, in a hot minute. Gaddick Teague stops Chandra. This will be an interesting game. Gavany Township. Liliana. All right, we'll just get rid of a gemstone caverns here. And hit for two. There's a bridge. Play our bridge. Play land, don't play land. I'll play land. They'll get the Chandra out of hand here. All right, so we're back to this whole shenanigans here with the Liliana. This time I have Spyglass in the deck. They have plenty of things to remove the Spyglass. It was a fatal push. 
What do we got here on two, three? Plague Engineer, name's Goblin, that's fine. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. That would end the game fairly quickly. I could kill Sha uh, Liliana here and then just uptick. And I would have enough because God of Destiny would give me enough to play it. So this game will be kind of interesting because my opponent will probably do the whole bridge and lands again. Stoneforge, they're going to go get a batter skull again. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get rid of a Tarmogoyf here. Let's play Rabble Master down. Here we go again, this whole song and dance. Mm -hmm. Decides to go up to seven this time around. Puts a Lingering Souls into the bin and can play the Lingering Souls. Okay, they don't have the land yet. Risking a little bit since we have Spyglass somewhere in our list. Okay, Batter Skull down. All right, so this time I probably just take the bridge when they split the bridge out, only because of where we're at in the game. I hit a couple running lands, we'd be good. They've done the Liliana so that they control my hand here. Uh, da, da, da. Watch them have a, an abrupt decay or something for this. <laughs> All right, so we need three running lands and then a win condition like another God of Destiny. Yeah, yeah. All right, I don't need to be taunted. We're just gonna concede. We're getting enough flack in the chat from this person. All right, so they've got us. <clears throat> Game one we have, we were just curious about the Liliana thing, so this should go to three. <clears throat> but we'll just move on. No need to get badgered. All right. <clears throat> All right. Subway Eat fre Flesh is our opponent. Let's go ahead and keep this. We have a turn one Rabble Master. We're gonna go ahead and give that a shot here. See if it's fast enough against our opponent. We got a good luck, have fun. Oh yeah, our opponent's a nice, nice person. I kind of feel bad doing this now. In for a point. Let's see if we've got a control opponent. We haven't run into really anybody doing control. The mid-range deck was the most control we've seen. I'd even call the Electro Balance deck that we've seen tonight um, more of a aggro list. Oh, this isn't good for my opponent. Can I critique your deck in the Red Prison Discord when you're done? Maybe. We'll see. Straight to it, I see. This is my opponent. All right, Temple of Deceit, Dark Slick Shores. We have a Pentad Prism here for white, probably. Or two counters, they can now make white. A braid would be the best thing to see there. We don't get one though. The chalice. Very little reason for me to put a chalice on one here. Or sorry, zero. I'll, I'll wait to put it on one. Shadow Ganon, thank you for the follow. Serum Visions. 
Chalice and two for Thassas? Probably. Probably. I will go to combat first just to see if we kill them. If they don't have, like, Angel's Grace. But yeah, we'll be putting it on two. All right. Definitely going to go to combat first. It would hit those two, yes. It would, but at this point, we're probably going to win in two swings, so we just need to prevent them from comboing out next turn. So here they play Angel's Grace, and then they try to play Angel's Grace ad nauseum, where if we do the Chalice on two here... Then we're beating Thassa's Oracle, because that's typically a win condition from them now. The other reason to go ahead and just toss down a Chalice on 1 at this point is because it would stop another Angel's Grace, and they'd have to have the Phyrexian Unlife. And if they have Phyrexian Unlife, that's 1, 2, 3, and then they don't have enough. It might be worth actually just throwing the Chalice on 1 here. Like, that's probably just safer, especially when I get a Chandra down. Stop Spoils, stops them from comboing out here, and then the Chandra upticking will be enough damage to get them below for the Phyrexian Unlife, and this protects from a variety of things. I don't know, I could see a 2 as well, but I think 1's okay here. So, like this, countered. This was their only real out here, is 2. Angel's Grace here and then go off but this does counter it yep yeah it would probably slow their plan down i mean we're we're in turn four here <clears throat> all right so we've got a good hand here for uh for what we got going on here. Um, God of Destiny can come out. Oh, actually, God of Destiny stays in. Bridge is out. Bridge is out. Eidolon's in. Um, they have a Lightning Storm. The Veil and the Spyglass could be kind of interesting. Maybe more so than God of Destiny. And one season Pyromancer. Like, we could try this. I don't need relics here. I don't need angers. I don't need Chandra Awaken. That's way it takes way too long. You're looking to blood moon them out, chalice them out, and then apply a very fast clock here against ad nauseum. Played enough against the ad nauseum champion. All right, ad nauseum. You miss going against Living End. Also, I think Gray has redeemed out Hydrate a long time ago. Veil helps me here if they play ad nauseum and then I have the opportunity to do this in response to a Lightning Storm because Lightning Storm targets. Unless I'm missing something. I hold so still. I can get more aggressive. Okay, it was last god. There you go. It was last god. Eidolon's not castable here, but a Chalice on zero and a Blood Moon's pretty, pretty good here. And the Abrade to clean up a Prismatic Vista. <clears throat> you redeemed your hydrate, and I drank water just now. A 
Lightning Storm is red, but they will cast an Ad Nauseum before that. Lotus Bloom suspended. Does it get me from just black, blue? And I thought it was, maybe I'm misremembering the card, but they cast blue or black and then your stuff gets protection. I thought that's how it read, but maybe I'm incorrect. I don't know. I don't play the card enough. I could be very wrong. We punt many times on here. I don't trust anything I do on this stream. All right, Pentad Prism here. I definitely want to abrade that. This gives them the, the black. <clears throat> I don't want them to have black here. Uh, let's abrade. And we'll Chalice on zero now and pass turn. Hooray! This is suspended, one counter off, one to go. If I had a land here, I can crater maker another thing. This is actually pretty nice against Ad Nauseum. Hmm. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? City of Brass here. A blue mana. A white mana. A Pentad Prism. Hmm. We'll shoot the Pentad Prism again. And the Chalice will protect the Lotus Bloom from coming down. At some point I want to get a Blood Moon so they don't have any black mana here. And if I can do that, maybe a Chalice on two to stop another future Pentad Prism would be good. Who is your favorite deck brewer in the Magic community? Can I say myself? <laughs> can I say this dude? Zale. <laughs> Zale, the funny Zale. Can I get a land? We're on turn four. I don't know. Let's just put the chalice on one and hope they just never draw the other two Pentad Prisms. Temple of Deceit. Needing a land so I can Blood Moon my opponent. Do they still run Solemnity? Probably. That's why I need to get this Blood Moon down. Looking for a land. Knowing my luck, they will. Come on, land. They probably have Ad Nauseam in hand. That's good enough. It's good enough. Blood Moon down. All right, black off. <clears throat> black off. They have blue, they have red. We're playing against Blue Moon, Phyrexian Unlife. Hey. All right, they had the land. Now I need another land. <laughs> All right, Creator Maker at least can be played here. It can't be activated immediately, which will make the Pentab Prism, if they do find it, a bit interesting. Eidolon's next up, then Chandra, but apparently I can, I'm just not gonna find any of that. In for two, 17. This is a long way away from winning. They need a uh, repeal, and I think they do run those. Season Pyromancer is a really good draw here because I'm forever away from getting this Chandra down. I'll probably play that over Eidolon. If I can find a land. I'll play Rabble Master over everything now. The order that we would play things in right now is right to left. Land? Turn 10, come on. Two lander so far. Oh my gosh, it's not even a good land. It's monkey. All right, now I can have six, because this is a goblin, I don't have to send it forward. So that's good. Down to 10. All right, I need to kill them now before they repeal this. Don't do it. What is this? Monkey. Monkey. 
Another monkey. Lightning storms, my rabble master. That's mean. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> Can I have a land? What are what are lands? Let's just attack with this. Sure. In for two. <laughs> they didn't block. It's monkey beatdown time? Oh gosh, it is. It's funny because this matchup does get like this sometimes because you blood moon them out and now they're trying to beat you down and if they draw a couple of these, everything goes sideways and it just gets really weird. All right, here I can season Pyromancer Chandra Chandra here. Looking for more lands. Clearly it's impossible to find them. And for a point and pass turn. We found our third land on turn 13 of this game. I have Chandra. I have many Chandras. At this point, I'm probably going to play another Blood Moon just to avoid them bouncing it. Hey, more lands. I don't need them to randomly combo me out, so extra Blood Moon here. Pentab Prism gets really awkward here. Maybe I should have put the Chalice on too. Well played. Makes blue mana. Nice. All right, so we went with an extra Blood Moon trying to avoid a repeal, thinking they had more repeals. But putting Chalice on two probably locks out the Pentab Prism. All right, I'm not going to worry about them going through all this. They have Manamorphos and they have Thassa's Oracle. I'm just going to trust it. This person gave me the good luck, have fun. They deserve they deserve the the nice the nice concede. Don't need a combo. Respect. Okay. Honorable streamer? Nah. This guy's just like chill casual magic. Let's play first. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Why not? Sometimes you're here. Sometimes people are here to enjoy extremely tight plays. And sometimes people just want their little little childhood heart. To scream with joy. This is one of those moments. Zale, oh, that's the wrong stream. Lotus Bloom suspended. Gemstone mine. Black mana. Thoughtseize. Go for it. What do you want? Take your two off Thoughtseize. Takes the veil. Land here. I went 13 turns without a land last time. Land. You want tight plays and childish glee at the same time? All right. Titus plays here. Turn one, Rabble Master. New the top of the library. Get the Eidolon down. Opponent's at 11. They're about to be dead. Sometimes we just want to see Gabos turn sideways. Gabos. Also, we could really feel for this opponent. We did Ravel Master in turn one twice. And this is literally the matchup that you wanted in. Also, the other list that we played tonight would not have been able to do turn one Ravel Masters. There we go. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two with a little asterisk by the maybe the Liliana game. Let's go. Match five coming up. And then I probably need to talk magic because we have a variety of folks here. My inner inner child wants to go dig 30,000 blocks in Minecraft, but deep down, I know not everyone likes that. And so we'll talk some magic. I think Shippo has a list that we want to look at. Maybe we'll just chat about the Pioneer Unbans and all that if you hadn't read that. I don't know. Maybe we'll just... Just chatting the magic style. What's up, Uncle DB? 
by the way, it's a new month. Those that are over in Evan's stream, did you get your banners? If you didn't get your banner, you should declare that you will never subscribe to him again unless he gives you a banner. You should do that. All right, double blood moon and no accelerant here is not the best. We're gonna play Vista and pass turn. What banner? For top cheer and top gifted people. Elves, huh? Elves, huh? This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Blooming Marsh. We're gonna get Blood Moon down first if we can. Although my opponent has all the mana they need. Oh boy. I don't have Anger Main board, guys. This is gonna really be bad. Oh, Chalice. It's kind of interesting. Maybe I see some Pyromancer here. I'm gonna see some Pyromancer to create some blockers here. All right, I'm good with this. And some of us are digging your dream farm out while you lazy away with cardboard. What's so funny about that, Zale? What's incredibly funny, um, oh, let's do it this way. The, the funny the funny note about that is I don't know if I'm the one that wants the farm. I don't know if I am. Chandra, let's make a crater maker here and pass turn. I'm trying to give myself a chance with a Chandra here to be able to maybe like Koth, Blood Moon, Bridge. Not with that attitude, but I have no reason for a gold farm on Minecraft. Everyone's like, make gold farm. And I'm like, but I don't need a gold farm. I think I sent everything at Chandra. Chandra just gained 50,000 life. Me either. I don't think Grayus has a reason either. We just we just build gold farm. Block here, block here. This way that we can take the black out when I blood moon, then this will prevent any future shaman of the packs. One, two, three, play Koth. Play bridge, or are we doing bridge and blood moon here? We're probably doing bridge and blood moon. Start with blood moon. And bridge, past turn. So we kept them off black now because we took out the elves of the deep shadow, so we can't worry about this too much, although they could definitely just go-go it in on me. In some ways, I want them to have another Lord effect, but they do double Elvish Visionary here. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven damage that can happen to us. It's a lot of damage. Trying to avoid uh, Shaman of the Pact. Round two. They're gonna kill Chandra, that's so rude. That's so rude. Four in at me, three at Chandra. This is good. Chandra's coming in pairs. If I hit a land here, I cough down tick Chandra. Unless I hit my exact other forest in the list. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so one shaman here wins the game. Oh gosh. Shoot, I hit a chalice. Um I'm gonna Chandra uh chalice on one to avoid a, another 
Elves of the Deep Shadow, since I see they have a Shaman in hand now. That's right, Last God. We did that. Chalcum won. And then we can Koth, and we're two turns away from an Emblem, which is pretty good. And we'll try to use the Emblem to clear some of these out so we don't do die to a Coco Shaman of the Pact. Oh, one card in hand? No, they've got seven. They need black. They have seven cards. Now they have six. Oh, you mean us. One card, yeah. Bridge. Bridge. Defend. Defend the honor. Defend the honor. It's Shonda for one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably need a Chandra down tick here. Nope. All right. I don't now. They've got plenty of plenty of things. Oh, stop. Yeah, Chandra Chandra Koth is probably fine here. Empties the hand. It's just frustrating because it's just getting in my way. I'll do this, though. Go ahead, opponent. It's not awful. Blah, blah, blah. Just need them to not hit Coco here. Oh, don't kill me! The Shaman wins it. No! Avoid this. Avoid the shaman. They're thinking about it. Sentinel and Chancellor. All right, everything's macho now. I'd like to hit running lands, if I may. Running that mountains. It's a mountain. Uptick. Desperate Ritual, no. Koth, go. I think I have to do a Chandra emblem here and then I shoot some things down like the two Elvis Chancellors. And then use Chandra as a way to remove some stuff too with an emblem. Maybe that's the right play. If I was playing Blasphemous Act, we'd be in good shape. <laughs> the best shape. Opponent skips the turn. Gemstone. Let's go up with this Chandra for starters. I think it's okay to go ahead and emblem here with the, the Koth. We need them to not have... We need them to not have Coco here. We have to clear some of these so we don't die to a Coco Shaman. That's the plan here. One, two, three, four, five. And 10, 11, 12. If I top deck something, we win. So maybe I just go them instead of trying to shoot these off because I can do two here, one, and then like one. I just shoot all upstairs here. We know one shaman's in hand. So this is probably the fastest route here, especially if the if I hit a uh, castable card here with the Chandra. All right, Koth doing Koth things. That's a castable. One, two, three. As long as they don't gain life here, we win. Lucky for us, the season Pyromancer. Could draw us into things. Uh oh, we'll just we'll just do it this way. <laughs> we'll hit you for a billion. All right, elves, elves. I haven't seen elves in forever. Angers come in. Spyglass comes in. Out with rabble masters. I sort of don't want the season pyromancers either. They get a little weird, but we'll go ahead and do that. With a forehand land. We did. We did. You're right. 
This was embarrassing. Inquisitor, we've tried to play Blasphemous Act with Boros Reckoner before. It, it didn't go very well. That's true. When you look back at that, we did pretty good. Oh, what a hand. We're going to keep this. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Keep. Keep. Oh. Ooh, a god of destiny. That one's a little awkward because I'd like to be able to play this Blood Moon. Duresses me. Wow, that's rude. Hope we draw a Mana Monkey. It'd be good. <clears throat> it would help with God of Destiny. Core Firewalker isn't better than Dragon Claw. Core Firewalker is probably better. Obviously, you have to play that in red-white because red-white's got the, uh, the white mana you need. Takes my anger, the gods. All right. Well, I think here I'm going to actually put Chalice down. I'm giving my opponent some time here. I'd rather have God of Destiny played before losing it to Blood Moon. And my opponent's already got all their colors here, so it's not like I'm setting them up for anything crazy here. We have a Coco from our opponents, their next play. So to avoid a uh, blowout here of a Rex Sage, we'll do God of Destiny. That way the Rex Sage just hits the Chalice, doesn't hit the Bridge or the Blood Moon. There we go. Spin the wheel, Coco. If we hit our fourth land here, we can Ritual and Desperate Ritual. Sorry, Desperate Ritual, Braid, and, and then Bridge or Blood Moon. We'll Bridge because it's safer. Hide behind the bridge. Follow up anger would be nice here. Would take that. Wonder what they hit with this collected company. By the way, I would take a 3 2 again. A couple pair of 3 2s tonight would be nice. Winning some, some magic. Keeping the percentages up above 50%. Always a good thing. I wonder what they hit here. Dwinan's Elite and Shaman. Stack this properly and get one more. They didn't. Oh well. Oh, there they go. It flipped. Good job. I thought they didn't stack it properly, but they hadn't picked yet. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage here, plus five if they get a... Oh gosh, it's another Shaman. I'm gonna die real fast here. I'm at nine. Five, six, seven. I'm at two. I can't empty my hands, so anger's the only out. Let's see here. Can I empty my hand now? I don't think I can. Yeah, we needed a land. I'm at four. I have three cards here. So, Ritual. Ritual. Bridge. And a Braid. Like, black. <laughs> Pass turn. There. There. Now they can only hit me for two. God of Destiny strikes again. Ha-ha! Elvish Visionary is their draw. I still kind of need a land. Blood Moon's going to be nice, though. It's going to shut off the black. <clears throat> they won't... They will have four mana. In for one. One Shaman kills me. Ooh, 
the god of destiny. That's the problem. Do I shut off black or do I... If I shut off black, I can't get rid of this. That's a problem. I would have loved to splice, but there was no lands. There have been no lands in the graveyard yet. So we can't splice. <clears throat> we thought about it. All right, I think I've got to play God of Destiny. Yeah, no one's fetched yet. Are you going to do new God of Destiny here? I'm doing that because I, I literally can't sit here and take three a turn if I play Blood Moon. There's, there's just no way. I need a land or something. There's a land now in the graveyard. So there's our first land. I'm not dead yet. Pendlehaven, though, would put me to one. Which actually wouldn't be a bad thing for them. If I drew another, like, three drop, three or higher, they could kill me in two turns here. Tack with all these and pump one. Put me to one. I like seeing two shamans in play. Obviously, I don't like seeing lots of them. Winding way. Land War Elf went to hand. Attack for three and pump one. There they go. They're going for it. I'm at one. I hit a seasoned pyromancer. Well, I'll take a land. One, two, three. If I go to three here. I have to somehow get empty handed here. Well, if I gain the life, then I lose. Unless I draw land and chalice. I don't have a one drop. So, so if I get a two drop, then taking the land here is important. So play season pyromancer. Put a land, put a get a land and get a two drop. If I do just like winding way, I we're not winning. So need a land and a two drop here. <laughs> need a land and a two drop. Oh, oh, the insult. Oh, the I'll, I'll make sure they attack me properly. Oh, the insult. Oh, oh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. That ain't it. <laughs> it's an out. It's an out. Run it back. Fog greater than anger of the gods, clearly. Ugh. That thought seize at the very beginning took the other anger too. So we hit all of them. We hit them all. All right, we're going to keep this. This could go places. Woo. This could go places. Opponent mulls to six. We can get our green as well. We can blood moon them. We can abrade. Shows an Elvish Mystic, plays an Elvish Mystic. I'm gonna play Blood Moon first here. A lot of removal. Lots of removal. Taking down Elvish Mystic is our next plan. Good old elves. Pendlehaven. Two mana. Dwining 
Queen's Elite. We're hydrating, Last God? I can. Certainly can. Play Crater Maker, and let's kill this. We're doing that because that costs three mana. Double Braid is four. In for three damage goes our opponent. We'll plan to a braid here, because then if I top deck a land, it's Chandra and a braid to protect her. Bot says hydrate, I redeem hydrate. Hey, thank you for the follow. Get rid of the two. Oh, elves. We hit our land. Chandra up here. Let's kill the last one. That way we can work on Chandra getting to an emblem status and hopefully win match five. Is this a for-profit gruel prison? I don't know what for-profit means, but it definitely is a, it's Coithus's red prison. 3-2 with an asterisk against that one game because we were curious. Woo! Cloythus's Red Prison instead of Karn or Chandra's Red Prison. This one features just a splash of green for God of Destiny and happen to add Veil on the side as well. List is good so far. I am liking it.